Welcome back to some Graviteam Tactics Maya's Front, friends. And today we're actually going to be playing as the Croatian Infantry Divisions here. I think it's going to be a nice change because this is quite a challenge. In fact, the Croatians have very few, if any, anti-tank weapons. They're really going basically with their infantry weapons to, to hold these positions. So what I'd like to do, we do have those AT guns there, is pretty much set up our soldiers, um, particularly our machine guns, all over the area here um, in an effort to stop a massive Soviet push. I'm going to keep some guys, of course, in the good old-fashioned uh, woods. We'll try to keep a few of them over here by the Dakas. But if we can't make it there, then you know what? This is also fine, just having them out in the open and aware of the enemy movements. Now, we've had situations where the Soviets have actually gone ahead and attacked in a completely different direction than where we were anticipating the attack. So I'm not going to dedicate everybody to this area, but I will take Horvat's unit. This is another one of our Croatian infantry divisions and drop him over here in the woods um, to make this a much more defensible area, let's call it, especially if the enemy ends up attacking here. So this is going to be our approach uh, for the most part. I think I'll also take that group back there, put them right there in the city of Udinsov. We have to keep in mind that this location, though, is also taken by the enemy, uh, so we're probably going to have to actually send in a group or a detachment of Croatians to attack the area. And I'm going to make that Dasovic's group over here. I'll take Slajevic's group over here as well. And they're also going to be part of this assault into the town itself. As for the rest of our guys, I think I'm going to keep them here. Um, except for Slajevic. We don't actually um, need anybody in this location. The only benefit might be some supporting fire. So, you know what? I'm going to keep them there and we'll just see what happens. All right, folks, let's get started. And let's see how the Croatians do here against a massive Soviet assault. Assuming that's what the enemy is going to send at us over here. Here we go, boys. As always, we shall return when the battle begins. In fact, before the battle begins, I'm going to go ahead and take Slajevic's group. We're going to move into... Okay, Odinsov is actually under our control. So what I'm going to do is just actually push him forward over here to sort of control the area. We'll keep the rest of our men in those locations and we'll await enemy contact. It looks like Ivan's got armored cars or maybe just standard supply trucks speeding across towards our location. They seemingly don't even see what the hell we're doing over here. So I'm just going to look in that area right now. Uh, we will target them. I'm really happy that we left Rukavina's group over here because now we can sort of focus over here and start opening up before they even make it to our front lines. Let's look that way and let's light them up. We got some mortars here. That should work out quite well against the enemy, but for sure um, there is something going on there. I've never seen this kind of concentration of supply trucks, but again, I'm guessing they're infantry transport vehicles masquerading as supply vehicles. Boys are definitely on it. Look at that. Oh yeah, definitely in infantry transport. And let's just keep the mortars firing. Our Croats are excellent, and I mean excellent, with artillery fire. So I'd like to keep that going. And Slajovic's group has got an entirely different beast to deal with. He's got to wipe out uh, that enemy AT gun. We don't want the Soviets using these against us later, so let's get rid of it now. Good work, Slajovic's group. They stand no chance. Now, another thing we could do is once we finish up over here, assuming we actually do win this particular gunfight, which I think we will, we can go there and support our guys at the crossroads. I'm also making sure nothing's happening at Odinsov, but I don't think so. I think the Soviets have kept their assault to the crossroads area, uh, where we don't have nearly as many men. And they are hitting us with tremendous amounts of mortar fire. I can't express how much. Look at all these Soviets. We're doing the same with them, though. 
course, they just took out a bunch of our men right there, but you can hear those mortars singing. Just singing in the wind there, my gosh. Heavy artillery, maybe not just mortars. Look at that, guys. The Soviets know what they're doing. Let's at least focus all fire on their location. And it's not like they're not taking any hits either. Our mortars are also putting in work. Look at that. Ivan's taking some hits as well. Let's get over to where the trucks are. I want to see how Rokavina's doing. Make sure they haven't been overrun. After all, we do have a crossroads location with these guys. Nice hit! Glad we got to see that. If any infantry trying to leave that vehicle is going to be quickly destroyed. What I can tell, uh, this particular location seems to be doing just fine. The second we spot Soviets, they're getting lit up. It's Slayovich's unit that I'm really worried about because of all the enemy artillery fire. And look at that. Oh my gosh, man. I'm seeing some potential arty over here. I wonder if we could hit it. We're gonna try. But these boys are true Croatian heroes. Don't think they make it out of here alive. The incredible thing is, unlike a lot of units at this point, they are continuing to fight. Morale is going to have to drop soon with all of this artillery fire, but they are still fighting. Um, they haven't given up the ghost yet. Now we've got to worry about a huge group of Soviets coming this way. Let's see if we can get them from this distance. It's almost a kilometer away. I don't think we can, but we can get ready for them. For sure, if they're going to come over here and deal with our Croats that are dug in, I don't think they're going to be nearly as lucky. So I'm starting to see some officers over there near the crossroads area. We'll just keep that fire going, but unless I'm not seeing this correctly, it looks like the Soviets might just remain here. They don't actually seem to be progressing towards the crossroads. They seem to be focused entirely on Slyovich's group. So we'll have to see what they do. But if they end up going for the crossroads, we might want to take some guys here and actually push forward um, and try to cut them off. Like the group that we sent in here, um, into the town. We could take them. And you know what? At the very least, I am going to order them to fast move into this wooded area and start setting up sort of a secondary defense. In fact, I don't mind even taking, like, a, a few of the machine gun crews, not all of them, just a couple of them, and setting them up over here in locations like this, because eventually they're going to get this far and we'll at least be able to return fire. But look at that, man. They are still hitting the area. We've certainly seen um, battles with more arty than this, but this is pretty bad. <laughs> Beautiful. We're still getting some MG fire down on the enemy and still getting some mortar fire as well. Although they seem to have pretty good defenses here in this little creek area. Still firing away from this location. I like it. Survival in a battle like this is a victory, especially since we're holding a location on the front. So if we get a ceasefire offer, depending on uh, how many kills we get at that point, I'm very tempted to take it. Very, very tempted to take it. I'm also tempted to grab just some of these units and send them up this way. Um, kind of, you know, counterattack the enemy, or, or not even counterattack, almost like a counter ambush. a covert move. That's what we're going to do, guys. So we are actually sending in some of our Croatians on a covert move in an effort to stifle the enemy advance, let's say. 
I'll also grab this machine gun and send him forward like we did the other one. That one's already almost up there, as you can see. So let's put this MG right there. I'll even do a fast move. It should give him enough overwatch to open fire on the advancing enemy. At least I hope so. Let's take a look there at the Soviet front line. Uh, it's going pretty rough for them. We don't have the heaviest mortars, but you can tell it's done a tremendous amount of damage. We've wiped out those uh, troop carriers. Still a few of them over here on these vehicles. Wait, is that guy dead? He might be. He looks alive, but you never know in Graviteam Tactics here. Alright, I like to see that we're actually doing something. We're actually making some movement happen. Hell, we might even be able to take the units at the crossroads and get to this wooded area, do a true counterattack. Our men are still lighting up this area, and as you can see, it looks like some of the Soviet units are actually in the woods. So I fear that pushing forward would actually harm us. And again, they're focused on our guys up the hill. We might not get another opportunity to do this. Croats! Assault! We'll form a dense line, so if they start opening up, we'll be ready for them. But I think this is the right move. After all, we are pretty far away from the main Od Od eh, Odinsov points. So I think this might be a safe bet. It is a shame they didn't get Croatian voice actors for this. I think you do occasionally hear Croatian, but it's mostly German. Um, keep in mind that these units did have German commanders, and or maybe they had Croatian commanders with German fighters. Maybe somebody uh, can let us know in the comments below. One of our historian friends here. Look at that movement. I like it. And the mortar continues to fire. Getting to that wooded location would absolutely give us a nice chance at a counterattack. Fire away, son. Yeah, he is firing quickly. He's clearly picking out targets pretty fast. Looks like we spotted an enemy leader right there. Enemy officer? Yes, he's calling in those rounds, man. Our artillery has done a tremendous job during this fight. We might just call this one Croatian mortar assault. I mean, that's how well they've done here. There's still a lot more work to be done. And of course, getting to that location, getting that preemptive strike on this group of Soviets could put an end to this battle. Let's see how Slejovic is doing. Man, he has been torn to shreds. These men have been torn to shreds. But as you can see, this is what's incredible about the Croatians. They continue to fight back. Look at that fighting spirit against the Soviets. It's a shame there's no uh, Graviteam Tactics Maya's front battles as um, Tito's partisans. Then we could do that against uh, the Germans or against the Croatians. But it's just, yeah, I think maybe a little too controversial or just something they didn't decide to do. And sure enough, as we move forward, we are finding more and more resistance. Not all of it in the woods, but just kind of scattered around here. Not all of them could make it back with that brutal artillery pounding we gave them or mortar pounding we gave them. So we do have to be careful. They're going to be getting some pretty easy shots on our men as we move forward. That's what the mortar is for, to just kind of suppress them. Good shot, boys. Scheiße, wir werden beschossen. Stellung! Feindliche Infanterie! I love that spread. They just have a wonderful spread, this army, man. And there we have Rukavina, the hero himself, attacking. True Croatian assault, folks. I want to get those officers. I don't care if they surrender. They better do something. They either better die or surrender here. I want to make sure to go back to high command with quite a few enemy officers either killed or under our, com under our command. Look over here. How we doing? Damn, they have some heavy guns. So again, even a successful push through um, to this area would allow us to get some rear shots on those guns. I think that alone is a good reason to keep on pushing. And look at our covert move. It is happening, folks. I love this. 
We're actually sending our boys through the reeds here um, to potentially continue the attack on the enemy. Well, I'm starting to see more vehicles, but nothing that resembles an armored car or anything like that. Just infantry transport vehicles, really. What a surprise we can give them if we just cut through here. But I think that's a little too far. offer for a ceasefire even with even with this they see us advancing and they're not offering that ceasefire that's got me a little worried they might have more men than, than we're giving them credit for but we're getting really close to those officers let's get some grenades out there boys oh yes that mp40 is wonderful officers have been through some pretty serious combat training, so obviously as we get closer, um, the attack is going to be slowed down a bit. But getting that many officers would be tremendous in this battle. See our infantry, the ones attacking across the field here, are starting to come across some serious resistance. In fact, no, he's alive. I thought we may have already lost some guys, but we're doing okay, all things considered. He got hit pretty badly. What up, boys? Just want their focus over here. Don't want them focusing on enemies behind that could take ages to get to. And look at that. Yeah, the mortars are hitting the forest. Yes! There are definitely enemies trying to get to the woods and already in the woods. That's going to be the roughest part for us. But that's an officer down. We are only getting closer here. I would think the enemy would offer a ceasefire pretty soon. Rukovina himself! Grenade? Oh no, maybe just a smoke grenade. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? I want to use that pistol, Rukovina. Another one of the officers moving up. Now that the officers are this close, we need the men to work extra hard to make it to this location. Come on, boys. Come on. There we go. Look at those infantry getting closer, guys. A true assault at the end here. Grenade. He's trying to save his officers, but he might end up hurting his guys. No, careful. Nicely done, boys. If you guys have gotten to this particular part of the fight and you've seen the, the absolute carnage uh, over here, put Rukavina in the comments below. Look at that, man. Still pushing. He's still pushing. Really hope he has a Stellhan Granata. Oh my goodness, what is he doing? Enemy officer is actually taking cover here. Rukovina is just moving up, I guess, to um to give an example to the men that they also have to move up here. If they were just get over here quickly, we would take these guys prisoner for sure, or just kill them. Good shot, boys. Good grenade. But I fear Rukovina's in real trouble here. Look at that. 
actually got an enemy officer right next to him. I can't explain what's going on here. But this is Graviteam Tactics at its finest. Get him, Rukavina. Good job. Just knocked him out. That officer might get back up if he's not careful. But now, of course, we are at the forest itself. We are fighting, actively fighting for the forest here. All credit goes to Rukavina and the rest of the Croatian Legion. And look at this. We've got Horvat is very close. If we want, we can actually begin our assault there. Um, I'm actually thinking I want to keep on going with this covert move. So I'm just going to continue the covert move with uh, Horvat and just get as close as we can. We can end up just breaking through the swamp here and destroying any Soviet resistance. A lot more Soviets than we anticipated here in the woods, though. Look at that. Just a lot of them. Although we are moving in with almost an entire group. Some of them have lost their lives out here, but look at that. They're pushing in nonetheless. Come on, boys. You can hear the close combat happening here. And I'm glad that we moved that machine gun up, because as you can see... We're managing to get some shots all the way from over here to where the enemy is down there. And that's absolutely going to rack up the casualties. Might not seem like a lot, but a few of those bullets are absolutely going to find their target. Look at that. We don't even have any men left up here. Maybe a couple, but they're keeping the enemy fairly uh, engaged. Guess that's a good thing. Surrender while you can, Ivan. Should not take prisoners if it comes down to it. Good shot. I did warn him. I did warn him. You guys saw that. I don't want to call it a success yet, but it does look like that movement's going fairly well. I want to make sure that we've completely cleared the woods before I can call it that. You can see still plenty of grenades, plenty of close combat to be had, so we want to be careful. But at that point, we'll just turn our attention to all of the Soviet infantry here. Also, just make sure they're not sneaking up on us. Doesn't look like it, though. Now we can really start to see how our men have gotten to the edge or the boundary here of this forest line, and this is where I want to make things work. Now, we could either just kind of set up here and start firing, but that yellow lets us know that we don't have the best visual on the enemy. Uh, another option is to sneak through just like we're sneaking with the other guys and try and get a little bit closer, but I think those are all pretty bad ideas. Um, I just think the enemy's quite aware of us, so... Right now, um, they're probably, yep, just as I expected, they're going to start firing some mortars probably at us, so I'm just going to stay here for now, but I'm actually tempted to just carry on the attack. We do have a downhill attack, and it does make a difference, believe it or not, uh, but for now, we're going to keep these guys right here at the woods and kind of hope for the best. Um, just pretty much try and get the best shots. You can see some of our guys are already getting hit, so I think, yeah, this is a good place to stop. Let's see how that attack is coming along. So it looks like I just realized now, but Slyagovich's guys actually retreated down over here into the creek area, the creek bed. So they may actually be expecting an attack from this location. Look at that group. Yeah, we definitely need to keep on doing the covert moves. Uh, the reason being, it would still be way too much ground to cover to be a proper assault. But what we can do, especially since the enemy have their backs turned, yeah, I am going to take Brokavina's units, and we're going to turn this into an attack. 
This will hopefully get them to focus over here. Um, also, we'll be able to take out those AT guns. And look at that. We've got screaming tracers, machine gun fire, coming down from each hill from multiple directions on the enemy here. I think this might work out in our favor. I really hope so. Um, hopefully, they'll take off running or offer us a ceasefire. Let's see how it goes, though. Good luck to Rukavina in the boys. Some enemies over here taking cover, too. Looks like we didn't get every single one of these vehicles. Wonderful. I'm already starting to see some flashes coming from our lines. We also have these three units approaching that uh, were kind of a little late to the fight. But they're going to do extraordinarily well in this push. Look at how quickly our guys got out there, man. They are desperate to get into a fight with the Soviets. They're not big fans of the Soviets at all. And now we're even throwing mortars out towards the enemy. Everyone there seems to be taking cover on the enemy side. Really just to sight for sore eyes. Look at that. Even all the way up here, we've already got machine gun crews firing on them. So we spread out nicely, and it certainly seems like this, uh, this Croatian group is quite good at the spread. What I want to do, though, is hit that guy. That gun is our main target. Let's take a look. And it looks like we've already killed everybody on that crew. Tremendous work, man. You see the amount of work you can get done from an uphill position and a wooded position? Pretty nice. So now we're just going to kind of mop up these guys right here. I'm sure they are consolidating their defenses around the creek area, especially with all that machine gun fire coming off the hill. But Rukavina's men, we have definitely asked a lot of them. Maybe a little too much. Oh boy. Alright, look at that machine gun fire streaming towards the AT gun just to make sure they don't pick that mother up again. Still no offer of a ceasefire from the enemy, still no surrender. Our Croatians may be tough, but the Soviets they're facing here are equally tough. At the very least though, let's just take a look at the battle map here. It looks like, see, we've got them all trapped in this little area. They do still have that attack going, but I don't think it's going to lead to anything really. Whereas our attack is doing extraordinarily well. So look at this wonderful development, guys. Our men that were moving up the creek have reached location close enough to the enemy where they are opening fire already. Um, and I think this is going pretty damn nicely. So what I'm going to do now, um, that they're pretty aware of our presence, most of Horvat's men are already engaging as we are going in for a full-out attack. So onslaught right there. With this group, we're keeping these guys on the attack too, and essentially closing in from two different directions with the assistance of machine gun fire. I think these Soviets would be crazy not to surrender here. Um, anything is possible, of course, but we are actively pushing towards this target now in every single way possible. Um, we're not doing a head-on charge. What we're doing, like I said 
is attacking from multiple directions. We've overwhelmed them with firepower now. We need to overwhelm them with manpower and get them off this field. Look at that push. Look at that push. See, most of our guys will still choose to use these areas as well as these wooded areas to get closer to the enemy. So I think we'll be okay. This is kind of where the enemy line begins, though they do have some pretty good defenders here in the swamps. That can't last for long. See that gun? I thought we had killed everybody there already. Somebody is alive here. I can't tell who. They may also just be hiding for their lives here. Keep it over here on the Soviet perspective for a few seconds. careful. Oh, yeah, we're starting to ask too much of these men over here. I mean, they've already taken so much enemy territory, but we're asking a bit much of them. They're actually just now breaking the hill's line there, so that's why they're, the enemy targets are showing up white. We can see them all now. But that also means they can see us. There's still a lot of officers here. Good shot. Good explosion. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Just get rid of the officers as quickly as possible. If the officers are killed, the Soviet infantry will break away very quickly. Unfortunately, all of their senior officers seem to be over here in this um, group. Rukavina is still alive, unbelievably. Actually, that's his sub-lieutenant, so maybe he's been wounded. See the Soviets getting back over here, once again taking cover in the ditch to try and get back to their main line. I'm certain that's where they're going. They're all going to try to consolidate their forces over here. Here we go. Horvat pushing forward. And we're starting to see a whole lot more of the enemy army. I told you they were going to consolidate in that area. But we've held our locations. The enemy's taken absolutely nothing. I'm more than willing uh, to accept a ceasefire if they will just offer it. Now, if we were in Croatia, we wouldn't accept a ceasefire, but we're on the Eastern Front. We're in Soviet territory. And our goal here is to keep them away from our land. There we go. Look at that massive group of Soviets. Man, this is where I wish we had some artillery. This is pretty good. Just light them up. So I think this covert attack, an interesting start to an attack, but what we really need are some mortars to start firing here. Or some machine guns. Looks like that's begun. And some mortars, boys. It begins. As always, if you enjoy these epic battles, please like, comment, subscribe, and share them. Share them wherever you can. Let's get some eyes on this channel. Let's get some people into grand strategy and into real-time strategy games uh, in simulators like this one. I really want to do that. Obviously, I, I want to grow the channel. <laughs> Be nice. But these guys did get into a little bit of trouble. Rukavina's unit. But as long as this attack goes fairly well, I don't think it's a waste at all. Some effective return fire there. That's not great. Good job with the smoke. There we go. Look at that effective machine gun fire. 
He knows exactly where the enemy is. Took him out very quickly. Come on, boys. We need more bodies up here. What's this? Captured captives. Saharov's group. So, of course, we are getting to that point where the enemy is starting to, to surrender a little bit here. Could be to loss of officers. Could be to the fact that they're being attacked on multiple sides. Or also simply the surprise of being captured here in these swamps. There's not really much time to react once we're on them. And you can see their bodies are all over the place here. Get that officer. Focus here on the officer and his soldier. Hopefully we take him out. That is a anti-tank rifle, my goodness. And I believe the enemy has offered a ceasefire. I can certainly understand why. Um, but then again, um, now that we're already here, I think I'll keep the attack going with Horvat. Let's take everything we can get from the Soviet here. The Germans will look upon us kindly if we do well in this battle. So I'm going to keep it going, especially since our men just arrived at location. We also started taking prisoners. This is a typical way for a Gravitine Tactics Maya's Front battle to happen, though. You get to a point where you think you're going to stop, and you just can't. Keep going, boys. Keep going. Also, I think we might have enemy, um, yeah, enemy anti-tank gunners. This could help our armies in future battles. If you guys want us to come back to this particular Croatian front. Okay, I just want to stop this unit here, actually. There we go. There we go. Just look at that front, guys. I think I'll let our boys kick it around for a few more minutes, and then I probably will take that ceasefire. I don't want to cost our men too many lives here, because I get the feeling that the battle's going to end in our favor, um, just with the amount of casualties we've caused the enemy, and of course their inability to move forward into those positions, but I don't want to push it too much. So I'll give it a couple more minutes. Definitely want to try and hit a few more officers, although they seem to be smart enough, unlike their men, to get into the ditch there and see what happens. Maybe a few more grenades being lobbed at the enemy would be helpful. Get some Stelhan Granata in out, out there. Come on. Oh, that's a Stelhan Granata to us. That's a good sign that it's probably time to, uh, to consider that ceasefire. And now it's becoming true close combat. Keep it going for a little longer, though. I'm not done yet. We've got some of our own officers here on the front lines. Good work, good work, boys. See, this is the concern. The closer we get to the enemy lines here, we are also getting rid of some of their guns. The more dangerous things get. In fact, it looks like we may have captured some more Soviet prisoners. Unbelievable. Not sure how many are actually going to make it back to the front lines. See, now our forces are starting to consolidate here with the other attack. And yeah, I figure let's keep it going, man. Why stop a good thing? Okay, now they're firing anti-tank guns at us. Definitely loaded with anti-personnel rounds. Let's take a look here. 
Yeah, they seem to have a pretty dense line here. We might want to be careful. Uh, then again, look where we are. We're so damn close. Let's see how this thing performs. We don't exactly have the best sight line here. Hit it, boys. Holy hell. Yeah, that's going to definitely hurt a few of our men. The question is, do we want to carry out or continue carrying out the attack if it means losing a lot of guys just getting in there? Yes, I think it I think we do. <laughs> I think we do, considering how many men we are um, we have here on the front and how many of them are still active. I'm going to keep on pushing, guys. Tell me if you think it's a... Mistake in the comments down below if we should have stopped this ma if this particular match earlier, or if it was the right decision to continue forward against the Bolshevik threat. Some more prisoners, guys. Some more prisoners. Look at that. Looks like a few of the AT rifles are giving up. Let's see if we got any of the guys here. Uh, I see some blood. We may have wounded them a bit, but what we really need is a direct grenade throw or a direct artillery hit on this location. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, boys. Yeah, the line is starting to weed out a bit, but again, we have a lot of cover in these swamps. I'm kind of mostly worried about the enemy um, shooters over here. Could be some snipers. And see, they keep retracting that line farther and farther back. Uh, the more we push, the more they fall back. So they could just be luring us into a trap here, and then they can hit us from both directions do quite a bit of damage. And again, I could be overthinking it a bit. Give it a couple more minutes. The men are getting quite close to the enemy. A few of them, anyway. Just look at this. Europa er Oberst. Oh! They said if they can see us, or if we can see them, they can see us. Unfortunately. go. Some very nice grenade throws. There we go. Starting to get direct hits with the machine guns. And I think Hedovat's covert attack was an absolute success. Uh, they managed to converge here with our attack coming in from the east. I mean... Everything went the way we'd want it to, and it looks like now would be the correct time to go ahead and accept a ceasefire before this damn anti-AT gun just loads anti-personnel rounds and turns our men to dust. We are after all the Croatians. Uh, we are second-rate troops to the Germans. Um, of course, we're performing beautifully here, so maybe it is our lot in life uh, to potentially lose some men on, an, uh, on a crazy assault here. Although we're already there. Our men are already past their lines, as you can see. So we'll let these guys fight it out a little bit longer, and then we're out of here. This is time to fear. Oh boy, I 
think our men have suffered enough. All right, let's call it there, guys. I think that's a pretty fair ending to the battle. We could have kept going, but it just would have been casualties back and forth. Uh, in this particular situation, we get to hold the location. Uh, we've taken out a tremendous amount of enemies there. Let's take a look. I've also changed something in the game quite a bit here. Um, I think I like it. Um, I can't tell for sure, though. So 95 casualties for the enemy, 67 on our side. What's odd is that we had 24 killed. They only had three killed, a lot of heavily wounded, but also a tremendous amount of missing, a.k.a. prisoners that we took from their side. Nonetheless, a fun little fight to see the ferocity of the Croatian Legion. They lost all of their territory. The enemy did. Um, so we definitely come out with a victory here. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And uh, let me know what um, what you'd like to see in the future, etc. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Give me that big like and subscribe if you're new. Catch you on the next one.